a paradise just a quick flight away. Bermuda is a small island with a big personality. So what sets this destination apart from the rest? I'm Rachel Holt, and today we're at Sunken Harbor Club in downtown Brooklyn, Bermuda's sister property of Cambridge Beaches Resort, to get a feel for the island. From the drinks, to the food, to the culture, here's a taste of what your next vacation could look like. As someone who lives in and loves Bermuda, what should people know about the island? It's a beautiful, idyllic, iconic place. The people are very friendly. The beaches are pristine. The weather is amazing. We are full of cultural stories. I can describe it. I can use all the adjectives that there are available. But what I like in Bermuda to be is a place that you have to discover. And it's very easy to navigate. We're not a very big island, um, but it's an easy place to sort of get around and just discover some places off the beaten path for sure. Let's talk about some of those sports that we can find. Tell me about these cricket matches, because I hear they can get a little heated. Oh my goodness, so we <laughs> just finished coming off the back end of our cup match weekend. What happens is each year, each end of the island, St. George's and Somerset engage in a two-day cricket match. My team is St. George's, go St. George's, and it's a beautiful time of the year. There's a lot going on sort of culturally, and it's very celebratory, and it is a very good time to come if you're looking to sort of engage with a lot of the local flavor of the island. In terms of activities to do during the day, what else can we find? You can and golf any time of the year. There's a lot of places that you can go and sit off and eat. We have walking tours, we have bike trails, we we offer hiking. There's There are so many things that you can do to discover Bermuda. It's only about two hours from most airports on the East Coast. What can we expect in terms of getting to Bermuda? Just that, a very sort of easy flight. There's um, pre-clearance already, so really when you land, you just get off the airplane, go through um, customs immigration, catch your taxi, and get to your resort to start your vacation. And yeah, it's close. It's close. Okay, Jamar, you are born and raised in Bermuda, which I think has a lot of people jealous. How would you describe the culture of Bermuda to someone who's never been there before? I think Bermuda is a mix. We're, we're a welcoming culture, we're an open culture. We want everybody to come and we want everybody to experience Bermuda like Bermudians experience it. When you're going on vacation, mm -hmm. one of the focal points is always the food and the drinks, right? Of course, as most places of are. Of course. Yes. <laughs> what do we need to know about the cuisine? Okay, so it's a mix of Caribbean, it's a mix of Native American, and some American culture, and British influence, and Portuguese influences as well. So all of those cultures that mix together to make our island. So we have the dark and stormy, which is just, you know, rum. It's a rum-based cocktail. We have the Bermuda rum swizzle. The fish is delicious. And then we also have the Bermuda spotty lobster, which is a little bit more tender than the lobster in the Northeast. The farm to table is delicious. Just everything is amazing in Bermuda, yeah. This rum swizzle. Yes. I am sold based on the name alone. Mm -hmm. What goes into this? Okay, so the rum swizzle, everybody has their own version of the rum swizzle, but it is a rum-based drink with uh, fruit juices and fruit cocktails with a little bit of the bitters as well. Is there a story behind this drink? Yes, the story is, is uh, in the 1960s, it was a lady, uh, Sheila Gosling, who was ho hosting a party at her home in Shelly Bay um, and needed to make a cocktail for enough people. The funny thing is she had a new washing machine and decided that she was going to clear out the washing machine barrel and make her rum spizzle in there. So that's what we are in Bermuda. We cleared out all the essentials, the appliances, and make a cocktail instead. And to this day, you'll see at most parties and most events, we have a replica of the machine um, there, and people can uh, dip in and grab your rum spizzle. So it's That's fun. a lot more fun than doing washing. Laundry. I would agree 100%. Let's start doing that here. <laughs> I think the next best thing to being in Bermuda mm -hmm. is dressing like we're in Bermuda. Yes. We have our Bermuda shorts on. Yes, we have the Bermuda shorts on. Yes. And I'm actually seeing this style mm -hmm. quite a bit this summer, it seems like. Yeah. The Bermuda shorts are traditional, um, worn by the businessmen. Um, you wear the shorts above the knee, of course, with the long blue socks and the um, blue blazer and the colorful tie. So it really is exciting to see Bermuda trends sort of take off. To find out how you can visit Bermuda, check out our website, cbsnewyork.com. Uniquely Bermuda with Rachel Holt is presented by the Bermuda Tourism Authority, wardrobe provided in part by TABS.